After all your blood, sweat and tears, your renovation is finished and now you're ready to put your home up for sale. There's only so much the builders can actually do. The rest comes down to your preparation. What is that? This is where the really hard part starts, doesn't it, for so many people, but choosing the right agent and thinking about how you're going to market the property. So even if you have done no work to your home, but you are gearing up for sale, there's certain things that we all need to prepare for, and they're pretty easy. I mean, decluttering is my big one. That's the first for I me. think you have to tidy and get rid of all the stuff so that people can actually see the space and the opportunity in the home. A lot of opportunities there to bring maybe your friends in to give you a real <laughs> idea of what your house is like. Things that you may not have noticed for years, but your mates hopefully will tell you the truth. A very honest friend, <laughs> yes. I think you absolutely crucial. A very crucial. brave friend. <laughs> So cleaning, of cleaning, course. Cleaning, absolutely. Decluttering. And maybe taking out a lot of those personal items that you, we know you love, but home buyers might think, oh, that's a little bit a little bit too much information. I agree. Sure. <laughs> like family photos, I think, get put away in the drawer when you've got an, when you've got an open for inspection happening. As well as those bits of memorabilia that might mean a lot to you, but probably to someone else, they might be left thinking a bit. How do we get them? from the domain listing on their phone or on the computer into the actual property. You've got to go styling. I think styling a home is really important. You can either, of course, bring in the experts or you can try and do it yourself. And again, I think that's about being neutral. We saw the contestants do it this season with us and they did an amazing job at having beautiful flowers out, having scents and fragrance in the house that weren't too strong, but also just kind of making it as spacious and aimable as possible. The agent is a font of knowledge on that front and I think you really need to use that. You're paying for their services and you want to be able to speak to him or her and say, can I have advice or counsel about how to actually manage this? So I think it's really important you listen to them. And also go to your own open for inspections and see how you feel as a potential buyer walking through a property and seeing what turns you on and off in different ways. They may seem like expenses when you are getting ready for sale, but if you do it right, you're obviously gonna get the best price come sale time.